Hi, I'm Ben Fisher, the Community Officer at Leeds University Union, introducing one of many community updates you're going to see over the next year. I've had loads of stuff going on on campus since students have arrived back in September, and I want to share with you a few things that we've been doing, both here and in the wider community, starting with Lizzie Fellows, who helps run the Barden Grange project. Hi, I'm Lizzie Fellows. I'm the project coordinator for the Barding Grange project, which is a community food growing and gardening project based up near Oxley Halls of Residence, um, which is just off Wheatwood Lane in Far Headingley. And the project is for students and for local residents to come along and learn about growing and get involved in actually growing some of their own food, um, sharing their skills and what they're learning with other people, and to also take away some of the food that they help grow. Um, the reason I'm putting pak choy in here um, is because the slugs absolutely love it so we're trying to elevate it um, away from them a little bit. They probably will climb up there but it'll take them a bit longer. So we've got loads of winter greens like mustard leaves and um, different types of oriental greens and pak choy and things like that um, which we've been planting out into the polytunnel especially so this is what's all down here. We have work sessions once a week on a Wednesday afternoon, generally starting at 3.30 and running uh, until 7pm or sometimes a bit earlier in the winter when it gets darker earlier. And we also do a variety of other different workshops and activities throughout the year and all the information is generally on our website. Recycling is an issue that affects everyone in the area and one thing a lot of students have been telling me is that they have problems with the glass recycling facilities that are currently on offer in Hyde Park and Headingley. One of my personal objectives is to try and talk to the council and other local residents to see whether there's a way that we can implement some kind of curbside glass recycling system so that we can clean up the area a bit better and provide facilities that will benefit everyone. So next we're going to hear from Bess who created a really interesting art installation which we displayed both here at Leeds University Union and at Leeds Met Students Union. Hi, I'm Bess Martin. I'm a student at Leeds Met University in my second year at the moment studying contemporary art practices. Um, I started a project over the summer which I've called the Litter Project. I walk through the park on a basically daily basis and I, in the mornings you can see all the litter that's left behind by students that use the park um, after a really sunny day and I thought it would be quite nice to do something to show people how much is left behind and to encourage people not to leave that much litter there. Um, so I put together the idea of creating some sculptures to represent how much litter is left there, how much could be recycled, and also to encourage people to get involved with other projects such as uh, Leibley's Tidy and Green Streets, which are two projects focusing on helping people clean up the city and keep it a tidy place for us all to be in. So one thing that's really important to me this year is to communicate how much of a positive impact students can have on our local community. In the last month, I've organised a couple of events to try and get this message across. At the start of October, we introduced our community reps and our community engagement plan to members of local council and local residents. And a couple of days ago, in conjunction with Leeds Met Student Union, we organised a volunteer showcase, giving student volunteers the chance to talk to local residents and tell them why they volunteer and what they actually do. If you want to find out more about our community engagement plan or about the volunteer projects that our students run, if you go onto our website and look at the community section, there's all the information you'll need there. Leeds RAG is the union's student-led fundraising society who last year raised a quarter of a million pounds for local, national and international charities. A few weeks ago they organised an event at the Faversham called Firewalk. Here's Jane to tell you a little more about it. Hi, I'm Jane. I'm one of the event organisers for RAG in 2011. RAG is one of the biggest um, organisations in the university. It's called Raise and Give and it's completely charity based. Um, tonight, as one of many RAG events, we're doing a fire walk for the charity um, Barnabas Safe and Sound, which is based in Morpeth in the northeast of England. It helps disadvantaged children from poor backgrounds get a better start in life. Um, tonight, 37 brave people are going to walk over 30 foot of fire with, with the organisation Blaze. Each and every person that goes over, I'm sure you'll agree they're really brave for doing this. Could you please give them your biggest Jerry Springer style round of applause for everyone that goes over? So let's give them a big clap. <laughs> Um, 
this is one of the many events that RAGA does, it's including international projects such as the Bulgaria Project, um, we're also going to Africa and doing hitchhiking, so if you want to get involved please do and have fun at an event like this. So that's about it from October's community update. Next month we'll be looking at some of the ideas that our students have submitted to our Better Leads Forum, trying to make this city an even better place to live in. I'm going to leave you with a video about one idea that a student had last year relating to bus prices in the city. Thank mm -hmm. you.